Right. Right. We, I took him to CVS. I bought him an, another um, suitcase. Uh, I, I took my brother and, and, and got him some food. Mm -hmm. Right. Took so him back to his hotel. So was he allowed in the room? Was he, was he, was he, was he kicked out? No. Like, he, got, he wasn't allowed in after the fight because Wilder he, was kicked. He said they had a little bickering. I, I didn't go in the locker room. I just yeah. had him outside of it, right? Okay. And, and so yeah. I, I, and and I tell him I, I don't I don't I don't want to think that Mark Breland would do that. I don't want to believe that. When I go to Deontay Wilder camp, yeah. I stay with I stay with Mark Breland. Me and him yeah. stayed together for the whole week. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like so I I I, I would hate to believe, but you, I, you can't put nothing. I don't want to say I can't tell Deontay Wilder, hey bro, he ain't do that. Oh, yeah, he, but the you know how he felt. Yeah, but the father published the... Uh... Those are words from Lady Shan and Blue Blood Sports TV as they explain the night of February 22nd. And Blue Blood was given his take on what he believes or what Deontay Wilder believes versus what he believes. Okay? And... You clearly heard Blue Blood say, I can't tell Deontay Wilder anything about Mark Breland, or I can't tell him what he did. To counterpunch, you can't tell a grown man what someone else did. That's true. But you can give your two cents in being his friend, his brother, a close member or a close person of Deontay Wilder, you can say in regards to your own opinion, yes, I don't believe Mark would do that. And then that's one thing I had a problem with, with Blue Blood, because sure, you know, and he knows that Deontay Wilder, if he believes something like anybody else, if they believe something, if they're fixated on something, it's hard to believe. That's one thing. But it's another thing saying, hey, man, I don't think Mark did that. See, Blue being in his position could have def diffused this whole thing by, it, well, not really diffuse, but at least make it clear and make it known that I don't believe he do that. I don't believe, I don't want to believe that he did that. Okay, so that's that one thing of accusing a person versus, hey, I believe this person did that. Okay, and then that's the problem. You know, you can use your own opinion anywhere. And it just goes to saying that that contributes to the yes men uh, um, mentality of Wilder. You know, when you're around someone, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care where you are or who, what type of position you have. At some point, someone has to come and tell him like, hey, man, I don't think he did that. Because it's already bad enough. The man got beat up and he didn't understand why. Nobody was telling him why. Nobody was explaining to him like, hey, this is really what happened, man. He countered your jab, then he bombed you, and he put you on your back foot, and he started to maul you, then rough you up, and then this and then that. No one said anything like that. They talked about the damn suit. They talked about, uh, uh, um, they didn't even talk about the gloves. They, the suit was the first thing. Okay, that was the very first thing. And we really didn't hear anything else from Wilder for a hot minute. But what we did hear from was alleged claims of all this other stuff that was happening at that same time, which couldn't be qualified, which couldn't be verified, which a lot of things couldn't happen because Wilder didn't say anything. OK, and Blue Blood said he didn't know if he Mark Breland was kicked out or not because he wasn't in the dressing room, which was fair play. I'm glad he, he explained it like that because he didn't know. He just knew what happened when he came out the dressing room, right? And what they did after that fact. But saying like, hey, I can't tell him to do something. Well, you have your own platform and you can say. And I, I know that's going along with the reason he isn't saying or didn't tell Deontay Wilder like, hey, I don't think Mark Breland did that. That's my brother. And I think he's been with you too long. Don't think that. You know, he could have been a, a positive uh, voice in his ear of doubt. Or denial for something that someone believes. Because if everyone's saying yes, 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 you could win that some you could be that person that says, you know what, no, I don't think that. And then that would have actually freed him and got that off his conscience because that's something that Blue Blood Sports TV believed. And shouts out to Lady Shan from conducting the interview. I wish I was on this panel. I was busy at the time working or whatnot, and I missed it. 
But um, let's move forward. The 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 the, the P test and they and Tyson Fury. All right, cool. Now you're going to say to me because Wilder's corrupt, they could have just you know made up that the P test didn't have nothing in it. All right, so everything I say, it can sound like it can be refuted now because if Varda yeah. is involved, then just then, just think um, about this. They search for certain things. They search like when, when you get right. pissed, they search for certain things. Yeah, right. they they're not searching for. They searches for specific things specific that's on their band right. list. Yeah. Not like things that, that... Yeah, right. not, not, not muscle relaxing or sort of things right. like that. Right, right, right. So, um, to counterpunch that, um, me, Blue Blood, Lady Shan, and whoever the other guy was, they don't, we don't, all of us, any of us, we don't know what that, what they search for. All we know is that the blood in the urine goes into a machine. Right. And then they test for whatever. We don't know what that is. So we can't say, oh, well, they only test for certain things. We don't know what the hell they test for. OK, so we don't know. It's a banned substance list. But a lot of those banned substance lists consist of certain things that might pick up. If they can pick up nasal drip spray from Billy Joe Saunders. OK, chances are they can pick up something to that magnitude of a muscle relaxer or something like that. OK, because if that's the case, how they're claiming that means Mike Tyson wouldn't have to piss from a plastic dick when he fought all those times high or drunk. Okay, so we don't, again, we don't know what they take or test for. Okay, so we have to make that known. So counterpunching that, let's move on. So now now check this out, right? Who am I to say that that didn't happen when you see Tyson Fury at the end of the fight? He says, hey, give me a bottle of water. They give him a bottle of water. He says, where did this bottle of water come from? They say it came from over there. He said, I ain't drinking it. It's yeah, a cold brand of bottle of water. Case, yeah, but he might not want to drink it in case he don't know where that water is, in case it pops dirty that from anybody but, else. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. So that if, if that's the case, then that's a possibility of Deontay Wilder's water can be a spike. Okay, I'm glad that he mentioned that, the spiked water. Now we have the other thing to debunk. Again, I wish I was on this panel. However, sh shouts out to Lady Shan um, for putting her two cents in. However, what he's saying, the possibility of Deontay Wilder's water being spiked because of they're only testing for certain things. Okay, all right, we're past that because we don't know what they test for. But we do know that Tyson Fury did refuse water from Vladimir Klitschko while they were in Germany, right? When, when the, while they were in Kiev, I believe they were. And he said that I, I think the water spiked, okay? That's just how he believes. That's just his paranoia when it comes to spiked water, mind you. Then in Las Vegas, they offered him some water. He asked where it had come from and he gave that water back, okay? He did not accept that water after it was given to him. Now, don't you guys see the consistency of Tyson Fury? Counterpunch. He didn't accept it in Germany and he didn't accept it in Las Vegas. So that tells you there's a history of Tyson Fury believing that somebody may spike his water. And you have to remember something. Tyson Fury was on the B side of both equations. Okay, that wasn't a Fury Wilder 2. That was a Wilder Fury 2. It wasn't a Fury Vladimir Klitschko. It was a Vladimir it was a Vladimir Klitschko Fury. So he was on the B side of each equation. So he didn't want to leave anything to chance. Why do you think that is? Because he didn't know again what they test for. If they did drug him, if they did spike him, who, who knows? And if that did happen, not only will it affect his performance, it could also affect how he what that piss test might come back as. So he didn't want to leave anything to chance. So talking about the possibility of Wilder's water being spiked is not because of anything that Fury did. It was just Fury knew, I'm not drinking that water. Not because I know somebody spiked it, because if they deliberately spiked it, why would they spike their own damn water? Counterpunch. That makes no sense at all. If they were in on it, right, <laughs> and they just said, okay, everybody spike water, that wouldn't even make any sense, especially if they're behind it. Okay? 
But what Tyson Fury showed me, he showed consistency of him not accepting certain bottles of water. Nothing wrong with that. That makes perfect sense. However, if he did accept the water and then refuse it in uh, Germany, that would be suspect because then he wouldn't be consistent. He didn't accept the water because he thought they spiked it versus accepting it in Las Vegas. No, he didn't accept any of those waters. So that's just Tyson Fury. That's the way Tyson Fury is. And that's probably the way he's going to be. If he didn't trust where that water came from, he's not going to do it. Because guess what? That was probably right before they took that test. So he didn't want to drink that water knowing or, or thinking, mind you, that it may be something in it. Right? Because it could affect... Because he already had won the fight, people. So if he drunk some water that was spiked, that means it would have showed up. Counterpunch. That's why he didn't accept the water, because he knew, well, hey, I don't accept anyone's water. That's the fair way of knowing not to be or put anything in my body, because you as a fighter are responsible, Canelo Alvarez, for anything that you put in your body. But anyway, that's my uh, counterpunch on these topics. You guys tell me what you think about this particular video. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.